Hey guys, what up? This is King Leviticus coming at you with another redstone tutorial. Uh, today we're going to be building a 2x3 uh, sand or gravel door with a magic button. Um, I got this concept from uh, FedEx Gaming. I've seen it on his uh, video of his redstone house number 4. This was his front door and I, I really liked it. So um, yeah, he doesn't have a tutorial for it so I took it upon myself to to do it for you. So um, yeah, this is pretty straightforward to build. It just uh, features his uh, triple piston lift and his magic button. Just combine them together and you end up with this. So we'll just get started on this straight away. Right here in my inventory is all that we're going to need to build this. It's not a lot of resources, so you're not going to struggle too much to obtain these in survival. Don't worry about these blocks right here. These are just for uh, color coding my circuits so that you guys can understand what's going on a wee bit better. But anyways, we'll just get straight into this and uh, yeah. So we're going to come over here and we're going to place, start off by placing uh, four sticky pistons all pointing upwards like so. With two regular pistons on top of that pointing upwards. Come around to the back, place two blocks down like that. On, t on the back of those sticky pistons, place two repeaters both on one tick delay going into these blocks. Two tor redstone torches on top of that and two blocks on top of the redstone torches. Cool. Now we're going to come back to these repeaters and place down two pieces of uh, redstone dust. Next to this repeater over here, place a repeater on one tick delay. In front of this we're going to dig a hole out and place a regular piston facing upwards. And place a piece of sand on that. Cool. Turn around 180 and next to this repeater with the sand, we want to place a repeater on three tick delay. Cool, so that's like that. Going into a block with a piece of dust on top of that. Cool. I'm going to place a piece of dust down behind this repeater with a block on that, a block down there, so it's looking like that, with a repeater going into here. This is where our, um, our input's going to be, so any power going to this will power our triple piston extender. Cool, now let's carry on. I'm just going to change our wall colour, grab out orange. You want to place a block on top of our uh, block, sorry guys, place a redstone torch on top of this block here. Get out of it, mate. Place a block on top of this redstone torch with a redstone torch coming off that block, awesome. You want to build off there, break that, we don't need that there. And place a piece of redstone dust on there, cool. Come down here, place a block off this redstone torch and have a repeater set to four tick delay coming out of this block right here, cool. Run it into this block here, um, come over here, place a block right here with a piece of dust on that. Block up there and we're going to need a half slab and I forgot to grab that out. So grab a half slab guys and place it on this top half of this block right here. Break that because we don't need that there. Place a repeater on one tick delay heading back towards this dust here and a block on top of that dust. Cool. Next part, change our wall again. Come off, um, we want to place two blocks on these regular pistons here. With two blocks down like so with two repeaters both set to two tick delay. Three more blocks like so. Dust, dust behind these uh, repeaters on two ticks. And we want a repeater heading into this dust on four tick delay. Awesome. Now we want to place a block down here behind the repeater. And place a piece of dust on top of that. With another block on top of that redstone torch. And now we're going to come back down to the bottom over here. And we're going to place a redstone torch on this block. Cool, that should have retracted our pistons. Yep. Cool, now we're just going to give this a test to see if this is uh, working. Going to need a lever, we'll test this out. Grab a lever, bang it on there. Cool, it extends. And it retracts, awesome. Cool guys. Now we're going to move on to our next part. Uh, I should have grabbed out more sand because we're going to need a bit of sand. We need a few more bits of sand here. Six pieces of sand or gravel. It doesn't matter which one you're going to use. So this right here is going to be our um, floor height. Don't even have a block of choice on me. Now I do. So right here is our floor. Cool. So we'll just quickly put our floor in, a wee bit of the floor. Um, put a few of these away and we'll just quickly put in our door frame. You don't have to build this out of glass, guys, but um, yeah, I just like the look of his door, so we're just going to imitate it. Cool. And put a piece of... A fence post there and a fence post there and we'll just give this a quick frame oh I'm struggling I'm struggling the struggle was real 
Cool, so that's gonna, oh, well. Wow. <laughs> cool, so that's our uh, door frame in. So our button's gonna be right here. Uh, have I got buttons on me? Sure do. So we're gonna place a button right here. Break out this block here, because you're not gonna be able to see it down here anyway. So um, right below this button, two below this button, we're gonna place a sticky piston pointing downwards, like so. And we're gonna place, uh, actually grab this one out from my butt switch. Place a block there. And we're just going to hook around back around here. Sorry for all this awkwardness, guys. Place a um, hopper going into that sand. Crouch click. Place another hopper going into that hopper. Break this first one. Crouch click. Place it going into that. So they're going into each other. Awesome. Now you want to come up here and block out from uh, this hopper. We're going to place a comparator. And before I forget, we're going to chuck one item into here. So it doesn't matter what item, just as long as there's one cycling in through there to give us a pulse. Cool. In front of this uh, comparator, we're going to place a block with a piece of dust on it. Awesome. Off on the sand right here, we're going to place a furnace. So place a furnace right there. Come inside it, and we're going to place a block inside this uh, furnace so that we can get a reading out of it. Uh, come off this torch. Break that. Don't need that. So you're going to place a block down here in line below the uh, furnace mm. and we're going to place a comparator coming out of that so that when this uh, comes down it's going to give us a reading so we'll just imitate yeah. that so as you can see it's reading the furnace cool so you want to place that there you want to place a block up and come down mm. delete this middle block right here awesome place a piece of dust in there on the side of this block place a sticky piston facing upwards like so with another block on top of that a block off the side of it actually I should be re using red for this because this is a mono stable so <laughs> I just color code this quickly for us guys cool so um yeah so here's our comparator going to that block powers that comes down powers the dust so a sticky piston off the side of that block on top of that uh, block on the side of that with a repeater on one tick delay pointing out of it going into a block Cool. Now off the side of this block right here, we're going to place another sticky piston facing downwards. Awesome. And we're just going to quickly grab a different color wall. We're going to drag our line out here. We're going to put redstone dust all along this. And we're going to... Oh, how did I forget to put a redstone block? You're going to need a redstone block, guys. Not 64, just one will do. And place a redstone block down next to this. So I believe that's us all built and completed. So we're just going to give this a quick test. Press the button. Cool. Press it again. Awesome, guys. And you can put another button inside. You can also uh, have buttons on this side if you wanted. All you got to do is uh, mirror mirror this bud switch, the yellow circuit, and put a mono stable going into it. So um, you want to connect your your side button on this side into this. Your mono stable running into there. So let's say. Um, yeah, let's just quickly build a mono stable into this. And piece of dust there. And we'll just put a button on that. As you can see, it works as well. But yeah, just copy this yellow circuit on the other side, have a mono stable, and run it into that. And it will be all go. But yeah, guys, that's about it for this uh, build. So uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this and uh, find this useful. If you did, please leave a like below to show your support. Uh, comment down below if, if you've got any uh, comments or requests of me. And uh, subscribe for more, guys. Cheers, guys.